<laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, you must have just caught me in a moment there. I think I was just flabbergasted at the camera that we're about to talk about this week. I'm Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. That camera is the Freefly Wave. And interestingly, over the next two videos, I'm gonna be focusing on a camera that's from a manufacturer that doesn't necessarily do cameras as their main thing. Although next week's piece of gear is a bit more of an all-in-one experience. So I'll just keep that nice and vague for now. But this week, we're gonna be talking about this thing and I am super duper excited to show you what I was able to get with this thing. Cause super slow-mo, it just has that ability to just like totally transport you to another world. Kind of like the way that macro shooting is able to do where like we see these things happen every day and we think that we're familiar with them until you see it in 1440 frames per second. I'm sure you were able to get a little taste of what I'm talking about, which is essentially the purpose of this video. Pretty much the bulk of this video, I'm just gonna roll a whole bunch of super slow-mo I was able to take with the free fly wave. Before we get into that though, I am going to give you a very brief overview of like what this thing is about because as you can tell this is not your average camera so let's take a look at the free fly wood no um, no it's the let's yeah So like pretty much what you see is what you get here. It is just a black rectangle with a lens mount. The whole thing, it just looks like a heat sink. It looks like a heat sink that belongs to a larger electronic. It's just a rectangular block with a lens mount on it. No monitor, very minimal amount of buttons. You're doing everything off this selecting dial right here, an on off button and a record button. That is it. Not even so much as a little LCD screen to look at those menu changes. Everything, oh, whoops. Yeah, that's it. Everything has to go out through HDMI on this thing. So that you should have that not happen. You're also not inserting any media onto this thing. All of the recording done on the Wave is done to an internal two terabyte SSD. And this part is ridiculous. And as far as I'm concerned, a first for super slow-mo cameras, unlimited record time. You are just limited to the space on that internal two terabyte SSD, which granted you could get to quicker than you'd think. But I digest. It takes Sony E-mount lenses. And as you can see, no contacts on this thing. You're not getting any lens communication, autofocus, see you later. And behind that lens mount, a Super 35 sized sensor with global shutter readout. Global shutter is pretty much a necessity for what you're asking this camera to do or else you're going to get a lot of weird artifacts. Not to say that the footage from this camera is weird artifact free. You'll probably see what I'm talking about there in a second, but really moving on to the inside here, what is this thing gonna do for you? Well, let me tell you, 4K at 420 frames per second, 1080 at 1440 frames per second, give or take. So 99% of the footage you'll see in this video, I'm just jumping back between that 4K 422 and that 1080 1460, I believe it was. But I did get one clip in the camera's absolute maximum frame rate it's capable of. It's kind of a wonky process though. The camera can shoot 9200 something frames per second if you drop the vertical resolution of the video. So I believe it's your 2K resolution wide, but only like a 128 pixels tall, which just off the top of my head is probably like the dimension of like a dry erase marker. Very, very thin, but it has its uses, right? Like we've all seen Mythbusters and what they are able to do with the original Phantom cameras. Super cool and super fun. And it's so exciting that Freefly has really streamlined the super slow-mo video process, which traditionally can be such a pain. I'm not gonna go into the workflow of this camera too much because I really don't have much to say about it. It is incredibly intuitive. Like I mentioned before, you're doing everything off of this selecting dial right here and that sounds like a nightmare it is actually really really wonderful I can go between recording and playback super easily just scroll through all my settings right there and the frame rates and resolutions and stuff do get really like granular like I can choose between all these different heights and stuff those have corresponding maximum frame rates now on the other end of production say your super slow-mo shoot is done all your footage is stored on this internal SSD right here it is as easy as plugging this thing into a computer getting that onto another drive, editing off that. And the software, so many people said to me along the way, oh my goodness, the software is gonna be a nightmare. It is as intuitive as using this camera was, which was extremely intuitive. Sourcing the clips and color grading them, exporting multiple clips from the same clip, all very easily done in that Wave software. So I swear, I'm not just saying this, I am genuinely extremely impressed with this camera. There was just such a clear vision here from beginning to end. Respect the vision. Now I'm finally gonna stop talking. Let's roll some footage.
whoa, oh, sorry. sorry, I was just, again, I was just looking at that footage, I was like mind blown, like, whoa, that's crazy. If you had any questions about the Free Fly Wave or any of the footage you just saw in this video, you know what to do. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Like I said, next week's video also is focused on a camera from a manufacturer where gimbals are usually their main thing and they're trying to break into the game with a more all-in-one solution. So maybe that was an absolutely terrible hint and everybody already knows what it is. Or maybe that was perfectly vague. So whatever that did for you, I'm sure it'll keep you coming for the next one. Speaking of that, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I don't know if you noticed, but we are dangerously close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone. So every single sub helps. Thank you very much. If you are already subscribed, you can go ahead and take that extra step and hit that little bell button that's next to the subscribe button. That'll keep you in the loop whenever we post new content. So people, don't be afraid to take a breath and slow it down every once in a while. And we'll see you in the next one.